Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Corey. Today on Cooking with Corey, hashtag meatloaf throwdown. It'll be hashtag meatloaf throwdown above the title in my video. Click that, you can follow all the great channels. Right off the top of my head, uh, Ginger Snap Kitchen, Corby Q, Grandpa's on Fire. There'll be many more. You can go watch all their meatloaf videos or how they twist them. Today we're doing moik balls, and so that's a different twist. We're gonna make a meatloaf, we're gonna make meatballs out of them gonna wrap them in bacon and it's gonna be delicious uh, so our ingredients uh, I'm using fat boy blazing board that'll be my barbecue sauce I got like five pepperoncini size sliced up one jalapeno sliced up and diced uh, one can of tomato of your choice um, one cup of panko breadcrumbs one egg one small medium oh small to medium white onion and chopped and well, he was probably a good medium sized bell pepper half him chopped we're going to use some italian fusion seasoning uh, we're going to top them off with some competition cow powder from uncle steve's shake salt pepper obviously the ground beef is not here we're using that also but please go check out all the other channels in this i'll put some my cards up there as many as i can and we'll go from there all right let's get these moink balls going next all right everybody weather is our enemy today it's been raining i want to do something else today but we're going to do the moink balls i had it on the thing uh johnny from uh texas style um cuisine and barbecue did this uh video and he gave me a shout out with it like a year or so ago and jack's jack's drink water just did one on moink balls i haven't heard of them before um, here in Nebraska anyway, so you know I thought I'd give them a chance. They use frozen meatballs, so I might be in trouble here just using the Meatloaf mix or whatever. Anyway, one egg goes into the mix. Our peppers and our onions go in there I'm all in like so We are In trouble with the rain here. All right one can of tomatoes of your choice one Jalapeno chopped, put that in there. Pepperoncinis, this adds some brightness to it. it. Actually makes flavors pop really, really, really good. Let's go in there. If you don't like it, any of this, leave it out. Uh, our, you know, you said me use this stuff a lot. Love it. If you don't have this, use that Italian seasoning. One, two tablespoons, a little extra, just because I love it. And um, salt, pepper. Got my mixture, kosher salt, pepper. Goes in there. And now, as GT would say over there at GT's Barbecue and Cuisine, we gotta take this and give it a mix, mix a roux, like so. Break it in. Then, one cup of panko. Go like that. And then, bring it all together. I'm gonna just do a little short thing like this. Then I'm going to use my hands, and we'll be, be, be ah, we'll be back next, and we'll uh, make our balls. All right, our meatloaf mixture is looking good. Yum yum yum. That's how I like it. A little spice, a little whatever in there. That's the way I like it. Like I said, make it your own. We're going to slow down a little bit. I've been hurrying. I've been whatever. I'm just trying to stay ahead of the weather. But anyway, we're going to take the bacon, and I'll be cutting that in half. And that's what we'll be uh, wrapping our uh, meatballs with after that to make moink balls. Obviously, moink meaning moo and oink. So, um, keeping that in mind, you want to take your meatballs and you want to get them into there to a nice shape that will actually, you can get one half of the slice of bacon around it. I think that's pretty good. I, I'm, I'm gonna have mine a little bigger like that. No jokes, you guys, I, I know, I know, no joke. Anyway, like that, I'm gonna do these, we'll be back and we'll bake and wrap them. All right, we have officially got our meatballs done and they are looking delicious if I do say so myself. Now, to turn those into moik balls, we need to add some bacon. And that's just what we're gonna do. And it's starting to rain, so we're gonna take some, This I left this out just a little bit so it's stretchier. Put your bacon around your meatball like so. Make sure the ends are like that so they're overlapping each other. Toothpick goes through. Like so. Now, these meatballs are big so you really can't see the toothpick so you gotta be careful with that situation there. 
But what I'm thinking, these meatballs are too big, so we're gonna have to double it up. Because once again, I uh, overshot. I always gotta make stuff bigger and better. Here we go. So, do two pieces of bacon each. Like so. All right, there's our Merc Walt. I'm gonna do these. You can hear the Traeger in the background. It's fired up to 350. That's where these are gonna go next. I'll see you at the Traeger next. All right, as you can tell, we're right by the Traeger because I know you can hear it. I'm still in a hurry, it's starting to rain again. Anyway, the next step, I said we were going to the Traeger, but we need to add some competition cow powder from Uncle Steve's shake. So let's get that on to our wink balls like so. Get her on there. Flavor the outside of that meatloaf, because we definitely got that meatloaf flavored the way I like it. Get around your white balls like so. Your jumbo, if you're made them like mine, these are jumbo white balls. All right, I'll use some of that other stuff to get around. We'll go to the Traeger next. All right, time to get our jumbo white balls on the Traeger. Like so. In there, the part so they can get all the smoke they can because they're not going to be in here that long. Like I said, we're running at 350, so we don't want to crowd them. We want them to have some time to soak up a little bit of smoke. All right, more buzz are in the Traeger. 350. We'll check on them here in a few. All right, peeps, we're about 45 minutes into this cook with our jumbo point balls. Let's uh, do a temp check here. Here at, we'll put them right here. Whoa. All right, we'll be back to sauce shortly. We are there, 45 minutes. All right, sauce going next. So here we are, we're back here. Um, our delicious white balls are up to temp, so I just want to pay them with some sauce, like so. Sauce is your choice. Just a little bit. Like so. And like so. I will finish the rest of these off. Get them all queued up. And then what we're going to do is going to leave them in there for probably around 10 minutes to let that set up. So after I talked to you guys the last time, I put the Traeger into shutdown mode and it shuts down so that I would set my my barbecue sauce on my delicious looking moink balls. Anyway, here's a, look at that thing. Oh, they look delicious. I'm gonna pull these off. Remember, in mine, there's two toothpicks per one. I'm gonna continue pulling these off and we'll do a little taste test for you. So here we have it, folks. I know I had to hurry the video. It's still raining out. I, I, you know, I just got a little small covering over here to, it covers the Traeger and the Traeger grill. The rest of the stuff has got covers over it. Anyway, regardless, wind, rain, or shine, we're gonna do a video, right? So anyway, here's here's our moink balls. Take out one, two of the delicious and we'll get it right into him. Actually, I'm trying to do it picture perfect. Here we go. Look at that. Mm. Woo! It's temperature hot. Good flavor. Uh, the barbecue sauce hits you first, and then the inside with the jalapeno. And the Italian get ya. It's really good. Really, really good. I think I might be a Moink Ball fan for life. I think I'll make some more of these. Good stuff. Don't forget to check out all the other videos in hashtag Meatloaf Throwdown. Follow the hashtag and follow the links through that. And it'll take you to all the channels and you can watch some delicious meatloaf. All right, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you next week.